So hello everyone, in this video I'll be telling you how you can include images in Next.js. So actually images are simply, you can add an image by using img tag in this. But uh, for that you will uh, lose out all the features which Next.js provides for the images. So it has lazy loading feature for the images, auto lazy loading uh, and it fetches all the images uh, if the links are there or so many features are there so you can use that uh, feature if uh, you want to use that in next years so you need to do or add the images as I'm suggesting you or as I'm guiding you to add the first thing you have to store all the images inside this public folder because they are all the static files so that will not be added into the compiled or this folder but instead uh, like you you should always use this public folder to statically uh, render the files and all the files will be here before which you want to uh, like add like uh, assets files will be here and you can add the uh, videos and other files which are uh, you want to include in this so you have to store them inside this public folder so let's add this image which is nature.jpg so let's add this image for adding the image you just have to import a built-in component in next.js which is image component you can import it from next.js image next image next backslash image you can write that and then you can use it simply as an image component and it also has this src inside that you can uh, import the image and add the path name import you can write the image name which is nature dot nature I can write simply from you can directly add the image name which is nature dot jpg sometime it works you can grab that also you can it is in one folder back and then in the public folder so I can grab this as a relative import. So I can uh, add nature.jpg because actually it is in public folder. So I am grabbing the path. It is similar to React as you have learned about React. So that's why you are learning next years. So you can grab the nature or you can write any name in here and then you can grab the image from the path. So now you can place this nature variable inside this src and you have to specify the width and height so to get the uh, width and height according to your screen size let me just write height here you can write uh, 400 pixel also i'll be telling you like how you can uh, let, let me just show you let me just close this also there is one more property called placeholder for placeholder what it does is is it uh, we can show the blur effect while the image is loading from the server or from the next js so meanwhile we can show some blur effect for that we can add this blur here so also it is saying me to add an alt attribute because uh, if the image is not there what should we uh, show to the user so let's write nature here so this is the attribute and the image component let's check it so you can see that uh, first it load with a, with a blur you can see that uh, first it took a second and uh, added some blur while the image is loaded and then it uh, started showing us that image completely so this is how we add a image and show it uh, with the lazy loading feature so by default all the images are lazy load in index uh, in next yes so you don't have to worry about uh, the lazy loading feature and you can also add some cool blur effects so to add uh, in the images by default so this is how we add images in next yes i think we'll meet in the another video 
with an, with an amazing topic in next year. Let's meet in the another video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.